so the first tutorial is how to use export so basically this is just for beginners not for advanced users so someone who doesn't know what xcode is this is for them uh, so xcode is basically a platform that helps you develop ios applications and uh, mac os applications so let's get started so if you want to download xcode you need to go to this location right log into your developer account and go to the download section using this link choose your xcode version from the list mine is 8.2.1 this one click on the link and start downloading if you already have an existing xcode version and you want to update it you of course need to re-download the whole version again or you can just go to the app store here and there will be an install option and it will update your xcode so you can use your xcode and update it in the background so in order to start a new project just create either you get started with the playground playground is nothing but where you can use your code so basically it's something like this so create a new playground okay i'm going to create one here okay so whatever you type here the output will be shown on this window right for example this is in swift so if i want to print the value of that string so i just do str save generally it takes a long yeah so you see this just printed it there's some issue with importing the ui kit all right so this is a navigation window you can go through all your resources you can't really edit anything as of now so this is what your playground looks like you can add any code you want now if you want to start a new project just go and create a new project choose your application generally you would probably go for a single view application there are different types of application available ios watch os tv os mac os or cross platform so go for an ios single view application click next a name to your project I'm not going to choose any team as of now so I'm just going to give my name here keep it blank language swift devices iphone and i say right it creates a project for you This is your Xcode interface, right? This is your project navigator where all your project files are present. You have your editor window here. This is all your editor window where you can edit your code. Like this is the place where you edit your code. Then you have this part that's called as the debug window where all your output comes in the side. And this is where your variables are shown, right? This button here is for a breakpoint. So you can deactivate, clicking this, you can deactivate all breakpoints in the application. Okay. Then uh, this is your assistant window. So it's divided into two parts. One is where you do your uh, um, editing of uh, attributes. And the bottom part basically allows you to drag controls onto the code. Right. As well as the storyboard. You can close these windows, you can collapse the windows, you can expand them. This is your hierarchical format of your project or you have the flat format. So you can just expand it and see the different kinds of functions that are available. This is the search bar. You can search for any text in your project. Right. This is your 
window where you get all your errors if any issue is runtime or build time. This is a place where your test reports will be shown, right? This is called as a debug session. When you run your application and you want to see a 3D view of your application or you want to see the threads running, all the things will be available out here. This is a breakpoint section showing the list of all the breakpoints. Right? So let me just show you run this project. This is a simple project. If I just run it, these are the list of all your devices. So this particular thing is if you want to upload to App Store, you need to select this option. Otherwise, if you want to test your application on the simulator, these are the options available. You can add additional simulators or download simulators as well. First time loading of the simulator takes a lot of time, thereafter it loads pretty quickly. If for some reason your simulator does not work as intended, you can just go out here and reset content and settings. So it's running your project around on the simulator. Since it's a blank screen, there's no views, so it's going to be blank out here. So that's it for this tutorial for how to use Xcode. If you want to know more, please leave your message on the comment section below. Thank you.